More new vans, but more issues with them. Danny gets dirty and goes out on the road with the technicians, and the recruitment continues with interviews, trial days, and maybe some new appointments. I'm Lee, this is Vapor Clean. Come see Behind the Clean. Monday the 18th of September, beginning of a new week. I'm just heading into Western now to drop off the uh, all the recordings for last week's episode and the weeks before to Craig, because Craig was off last week. He needs that information so he can get the episodes of Behind the Cleans up and together and on track. And then he's in the office tomorrow filming an episode of the Leadership Herding Cats podcast, but obviously I want to get him the footage today so he can sort through it, make sure he's got everything he needs. I was sat last night watching the Rugby World Cup. I sat there and thought, oh, we've missed a trick here. We actually clean for three rugby clubs in the local area. And of course, a very wet and windy, miserable weekend yesterday. But that doesn't put rugby players off. They would have been out on those pitches yesterday in the rain. And then, of course, topped off by the fact England were playing. Oh, England were playing Japan. So that would be on, obviously, the big screens in the clubs as well. So you can imagine what they're going to be like today. Office, the customer service team are edging ever closer to hitting this month's target. It is a bit touch and go. We've, we've been up and down. Danny did some calculations on Friday and it actually turned out we were closer than what we thought we were. That's always good. Technicians have a multitude of things to be doing. Large kitchen, deep clean to do today. Scott is back off annual leave and he's on an he's on a end of tenancy with Kyle. Large end of tenancy with Kyle. It's including everything basically. So it's the whole shebang, windows, internal, external. All good fun. six-day weeks when they do a weekend mm -hmm. is that the case because they want to do six days or is there a reason why you didn't have given like a Friday off and they work a Saturday to bring in as much as we possibly can essentially okay. obviously going through the, win the, the winter months mm -hmm. that's actually more your sort of choice um, because obviously we don't have enough to fill the weekdays but we have people that need the weekends we're better off giving them time in lieu than paying for their overtime yeah you see what I mean? And that we used to, we have done that. Um, Only because I I wouldn't like the idea of working a six day week. It's not set in stone. I always make sure that it's sold that way or explained that way mm -hmm. because then it prevents the objection. What you tend to find, especially from the industry that a lot of people come from, they're almost used to it. Okay. So they don't bat an eyelid yeah. about it anyway. Thank you. Are you fing kidding me? <gasps> I didn't even get out of the <laughs> So I stopped and had a look in the book and it said that it's a minor engine fault. And as I got down, I turned the engine off. The spanner's gone off, but it's got still got the engine management light on there. The one that, yeah. yeah. They won't see it until October 16th. 16th. Yeah. So because they say it's, it's got to go to main dealer. Right. So they're saying it won't, can't go into October the 16th, and I've said to them, all right, well, how long is it going to take? We don't know. I need to know about it today, so I don't yeah, know if yeah, at some point you can have a look at the buckets. 
Yeah, they have got a bit of a disaster. Four heads, but no poles. The heads, are, the, the heads and the poles are always ordered to differ, different, and the poles are even ordered different to the kits. Yes. So even if you order a kit, you don't get the So poles. I needed to order six poles and two heads, because we've got four heads out there, no poles. But then also, Ashley was after buckets that Why we don't do you need have. six poles for? Multiple sites. One red and one blue for a site that we didn't have any. Um, Horse World is a new one. <laughs> Red and yellow and pink and These vans doing this, you know, they're not brand new and everything else, but my main concern is whether or not it's a repetitive issue and whether or not it's going to be how much hassle it's going to be to get them sorted. Because I've got to be honest, the fact that I've got to wait a month to get the other one repaired anyway, it could go further wrong on me at any moment in time. And then I'm worried if I do that as well, I've got another two vans that you've got sat there waiting for me, which could potentially do the same thing. So, yeah, yeah, I know. You know, the, the biggest, I don't, obviously in an ideal situation, none of this would have happened. We've already had the other one racked out. It's due to go in to plus sign writing tomorrow, which is one of the reasons why I need to make my mind up what I'm doing with it. This is the best it gets. I've got no sway. I have got no sway over it at all. Generally, none. So what if the van is not drivable? You're not going to be any confidence to carry on with these purchases, though. None whatsoever. But I can also sit here and say that this is going to happen and that's going to happen because I've got, I've got no sway over warranty whatsoever. None. I need to have confidence in them. It's as simple as that. And at the moment, I don't. That's fair. Um, and like I said, if, for me, if I was selling the vans, not buying them, if I was selling them, I would be doing everything I could do to try and install some confidence and at the moment I don't feel like that's being done. So but I'll um I'll wait to hear from you later on. Alright mate, no worries. No worries. Alright. One perk of the job is that you can have your own carpets and ovens and stuff cleaned. So I've actually got Kyle booked into my house this morning to come in and clean my carpets and oven. Um, so I'm just getting ready before I head off into work. Tuesday the 19th, so I'm just getting ready before I head into work. As normal on a Tuesday, drop the kids off to the bus. Um, so I'm gonna get the house ready, drop the kids off, and then head straight into the office. Technicians are flat out. They've got end of tenancy cleans, extractor cleans, upholsteries, carpets, just they literally they are flat out across the board. Ashley and the support ops have got a busy day as well. Ashley is doing multiple site visits over to one of the veterinary practices, the schools, but she's also got lots of interviews in between as well. I've got quotes to get sent off, leadership team meeting. Kyle is actually in the office after he's finished mine to film a new podcast. So we're gonna be talking about um, keeping fit and the importance of keeping fit. Obviously Kyle is, very much into his fitness and everything else like that and he's very knowledgeable in that area. Craig is in the office as well today. One, he's helping with the podcast. We'll also be having a marketing meeting as well. Obviously we do a lot of social media stuff. We've got a lot of marketing constantly going on, but we want to expand it a little bit more. We always need to push it to the next level. So it's gonna be a bit more of an ideas day today and seeing what we can come up with to basically push it a little bit forward. Obviously, I may as well take this opportunity to ask you for your help. Please do share this with anyone that you think may find it interesting or just drop us a like or a comment. Every like or comment that you leave on our content just basically 
increases the chance that it will expand out to anyone else. So a bit of a shameless plea there to ask you to give us a help. Unfortunately, Sean is not gonna be in the office today. I spoke to her late last night when she called through the emergency phone. There were some plans to be doing some appraisals and some discussions around things, trying out, iron out some of the creases. Team are all still learning to work together. And one of the discussions I've just had with Kyle is a couple of the occurrences from last week could have been a little bit better but it's all improving how people are all working together in the communication that, that was the plan for today we'll catch up with shana see if that is still the plan as of now <laughs> you know half the reason i come in and do it just to see you go oh, fuck off <laughs> you all right yeah that was really convincing yeah Left. I think, to be honest, he's battling to come down. I just think he's battling. Right. Uh, it would have been better if he just turned around and was honest and said, look, it's going to cost me 60 quid. We can't get between Bristol and Western because of the um, train lines being down. They're all having to get a replacement of the services and all that crap. So, oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. The second one said, but that was 15 minutes before his interview, yeah. isn't it? So he should have been here. would have known already. an hour before that that he wasn't going to come. You would come to well, a that, at the so least. Sort of I mean, if he was driving, yeah, you would know an hour before. Yeah, two, three, we're going to book a train. Ultimately, we're looking at long term here. Yeah. I mean, look at the efforts you went to get the job. You were like, yeah, I'll be there this afternoon. <laughs> I mean, we all know it's because you didn't want to do your makeup twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come tomorrow, but oh, but I have to sleep like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've only ever once has not like not gone to an interview and that was when I had the school interview at the same time as this one. Yeah. And yeah. I, then I've I had never, to pick and choose. I've never but out of all my jobs, I've never yeah. not gone to an interview, no matter where they've been. Did you say Craig's coming in today? Yeah. <sighs> That's not very nice. No, he had a birthday, didn't he, once he was off? Oh, I don't know. I mean, stale cake's not going to be very nice for people. Yeah, true. Here you go. I didn't notice because the trials, a lot of them haven't been duplicated. Thanks. Did you hide it? Did you hide it? I was going to say, it's all good and well, but I clean this office. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't come into my office. <laughs> I didn't get up. <laughs> I almost got circumcised. <laughs> listen to one guy, listen to 25 guys, and take little bits from everybody and make it your own. No. Nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing beats food. People that drink a protein shake for a meal is yeah. as wrong as it gets. Is your fitness the same as a life jacket? Should you be physically fit to make sure you're staying mentally fit? This week, we talk about fitness, how to keep fit, and what you can do to stay fit for that exact reason. Keep listening. This is Leadership Herding Cat. I have cleaned for royalty. I, so, Tetbury, Closter Way. Certain uh, gentlemen owned a, a large estate up there. We've cleaned ovens and all sorts up there before. Not on that particular estate. Yeah. But who, who was it that you actually cleaned for? I'm trying to think of her name. Is it Anne? Um, basically, they've got an estate up there as Zara, well. Zara Tindall. Zara, Zara what? Is it Zara Tindall? Zara Tindall, that's it, yeah, because she's married to Mike Tindall. Right. She was Zara Phillips, was she? They also had a cottage on the estate. The lady was the head of Team GP, GB. Oh, right. So she chose the Great British Equestrian Team. And she was, she lived in their cottage, and I cleaned her cottage as well. Wow. I mean, that was years ago. But that's part of the tech job, like I say, that you've got all those downsides but you do have all those positive sides and you've got to be the type of person that sees those positives. It's like, like Kyle's a prime example. We've had a good conversation with him today. But he's a prime example. 
he sees those good bits and clings to that. Yeah. He said himself today, the amount of times it will do nine, 10, 11 hour days, Sunday, mm. you know, um, and it can be bloody hard graft, but he looks for all the positives that go alongside it as yeah. well. I feel like he's got a bit of an advantage over some of the techs though, because he's just well built. <laughs> like... I, to be fair, sometimes that'll be a disadvantage as well. It's 50 50, trust me. You me might and try him to get through a door or something. Like... Well, me and him have joked multiple times about like extractor systems. You know, he can stand on the floor and clean parts of extractor systems where I'm halfway up a ladder and I'd be in it. Yeah. But in the same sense, if you've got to get an awkward position, he was laughing earlier, wasn't he, about cleaning? I don't know if you weren't there actually. He was joking with Lee earlier because obviously he's been at mine today and he's cleaned um, cleaned my oven and my carpets. Yeah. Well, my kitchen is tiny. I got a galley kitchen. You can literally, if you stand in the middle of my kitchen, put your arms out, you can touch both sides of my kitchen. Yeah. You've been in it. You've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's a big bloke, and he said, I'm laying on the floor trying to get the pack back panel off of the oven. He said, I'm like, I'm like bending myself in all sorts of shapes trying to get into the oven, and I'm thinking, this is the boss's oven, I can't not take the back panel off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it goes both ways. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, a lot of them moan about how heavy the carpet machine is. Yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the thing, yeah. He's just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> just with one hand. Yeah. yeah like you'll see in the interview when you've got the videos of the interviews I have that conversation with people and I say it doesn't matter if you're young old fat thin tall short male female or a bloody toaster it makes no difference it's your mental thinking mm. nearly had a cat run out in front of me so I stopped there um, it's your mental thinking not your physical yeah it's not and it's not for everyone that's why we take our time trying to find the right people mm. should have put it in front of people sorry that your neighbour? I don't know who that is, so... Ah, sodden then. <laughs> cool. Alright? Yeah, I need to grab that stick though. Yes, I know. That's right. I'll wait here because I'm warm. Stop in the back as well. Yes. Don't, don't forget, forget that again. First. Yeah. I'm going through this. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Alright. Wednesday 20th of September, it's just before 7 o'clock and heading into the office. Danny is out on the road today, uh, all day with the technicians. So everyone that works in the office goes out on the road, works with the technicians to get a better understanding and appreciation for what the actual uh, technicians do. Yeah, she's going to be enjoying that today, I think, although it's hard work, so <laughs> she might not enjoy it too much. <laughs> We'll see. We are a little bit behind in the office because Sean's still not back in today. You know, we've been trying to encourage her to take her time to come back, to be honest. Hats off to her, wants to commit and be um, helpful with the team and everything else. But when some things happen, you have to stay home. It is better for you, for you personally to stay home and look after that situation. A situation with Vicky as well, so she wasn't in. So it was literally Danny and Sarah yesterday and we had a couple of van checks and just crazy busy in the office so Sarah like a Trojan as always just kept on plodding through and doing as much as she could you can only do so much so we need to catch up a bit today hence the reason why I'm heading into the office now so I'm gonna get post clean packs done this morning then I will jump over on the phones with Sarah when the phones click on I've got to go and get crunched and cracked and all sorts today as well by the chiropractor so that's going to be fun technicians are busy i've got to catch up with ashley today because i think we've got some recruitment news for the support ops the other new van was picked up yesterday as well with the sign writing ashley and aaron kindly sorted that out i think that looks much better they haven't put any gap they haven't cut that they folded that into there so just to explain the issue we had before is they'd cut the line along here the reason they did it is they said they were worried about this pulling out and bubbling out and yeah it does sometimes but in all honesty it will certainly look better than having a line through it they've also as you can see if i get close here they've overlapped these this time which i think is much better i know there's the bump and they were worried about that bump but it's better than it separating and splitting with a gap in the middle in my opinion
Feeling, don't worry. Do you manage to get some scary. sleep? I'm all right. I'm not too bad. Do you manage to get some sleep last night? Yeah, I did. To be honest, we need to get you working less and relaxing more, don't we? Yeah, it was quite nice yesterday. I quite well. I managed to wind down, and today I feel a lot better. I think I should be all right tonight as well. Where's Ashley today? Is she with me currently? She's in the van with me at the moment. Oh right. Hello, we're Ash. We're on our way to Tacoma Core now. Yeah. SDS. Uh, we've had to do SDS because rang in sick at 10 past five. Oh, joys. Is it related to her husband again? No, no this is back, mate. Hey. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. She said she's touched herself up on painkillers. She's going to let me know by five, six o'clock today on whether she'll be back in again tomorrow. Bloody back pain is growing. I'm literally driving the way on the way to the chiropractor now to get probably put in more pain than less pain. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with those two interviews then? Are they scheduled up for trial days or? Uh, so I think it's going to work with me tomorrow and then we're going to try and get him in on the second. Is he working full time then, is he? It's like two hours in the morning sort of thing. Cool. All right. Well, if you need anything, give me a shout and I'll have a chat to this, this chiropractor for you as well, Aaron, like I said. So I'll let you know. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. No worries, I'll see you both later. Okay, speak to you later, bye bye. Quite a while cleaning the filters and the sink. Come on, Ashley. Yeah, anything is better than nothing, it's fine. Yeah, so it's three videos, one of them was quite long. I planned to keep it going, yeah. and then this guy walked in like, to check on us, and for some reason the camera then fell. <laughs> right, okay, I'll start it again in a bit then. It was the power of thinking, that's it what was. it was. You were like, Fall over! 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 Fall but if you want to laugh, I've just fallen on your step, so if your camera works, you're going to fall in. Come <laughs> on! It, it doesn't look like you're about to laugh about that. No, I'm, not. I'm fine. Should you be here? I'm just tired. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you should be here. Don't feel like you're going to let anyone else down. But that's what I feel look. like. How old is this? It is eight months next Thursday. Eight months. When was the last time he was this ill? Pardon? When was the last time was this, he was this ill? Has he ever been ill? He's never been ill. No. We've never had an ambulance or nothing. So you're a new mum, <laughs> absolutely f***ing shattered, with a baby at home still. Mm. <coughs> and you're not letting anyone down. You're doing what you need to do, go home. Are you sure? Do you disagree? I don't disagree. I told you that on the phone. I know. I've had to fuck my mum. She's like, you can't go as I can. I was like, it's fine. <laughs> We don't want to smell you. <laughs> <laughs> After that poo, I was like, no, you need it. I was like, you need it. Maybe he cries. I was like, I just need to get this poo off. <laughs> and, fine, and then he screamed, but then he had to cry. Yeah. 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 But if you do want to... <laughs> I'd actually, I wouldn't normally, but I feel quite, I feel quite guilty if I watch that. No, just watch it. I don't know. I think I must have missed the step. How far up were you? Oh, I wasn't. I was on the bottom step. <laughs> <laughs> that would be even funnier. Yeah. I was on the bottom. Well, that's some time going. Yeah, it is. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Just give us a ring. Give us a ring later. There's still no pressure. Okay. Friday tomorrow. It's a short day. It's a short day. If Auto. you need it, take it. You sure you reckon Scott did that? <laughs> Alright then, uh, well I'm on holiday next week, but you got our, I give you Aaron's number. Yes, My brother's getting married in March, you might be able to have the table. That's next year, you'll be fine. <laughs> she wants um, a 
neck scrubber to be able oh, to right, get yeah. the edges back and make it better in the back. That's good. So yeah. I said, yeah, I'll look into that view. What are you doing with these support ops now? Starting Monday. The taller guy that was in. No, that's So you're going to take them both on and see how they go? Yeah. Right. There's I'm a young sorry. girl, her name, she's 22, she's done a lot of cleaning. I'm going up to see her on Monday when I come back. The benefit with is risk assessed, you know, they can do risk assessments as you know, it's good, yeah. So he does know that side. You said he was the one that you can't judge a book by his class one, yeah. Because as soon as we seen him, I looked at Aaron and he looked at me. But when we got in the room and he was like saying all what he's done and everything and what he's qualified for, yeah. Aaron was quite taken in by him then. And that was when Aaron yeah. said you can't judge a book by his cover. You can't though. We didn't expect that to come out of him, but that no. what, what did. Aaron yeah. kept saying about how much driving's involved and like sometimes it could be an early start and you might think you're finishing early and something will go wrong and he said that's cleaning yeah. so I thought well and he said the word swings and roundabouts yeah. and I thought when they say that they do know that's the phrase <laughs> the impression I'm getting now is it's just the money he wants yeah. so I'm not I'm not too keen but I thought no Aaron needs support next week I know he got Lisa and I know he got Grace but that's why I'm going out with him tomorrow to get rid of these stock papers out of the way so we ain't got to worry about it Couldn't have gone any better, really, could it? No. That's amazing feedback. You know, when they say I've spoken to every teacher and everyone is happy, that's going something, isn't it? That is, yeah. I'm really pleased with that now. At least I knew that's settled now, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely amazing. To get, to get that sort of feedback is brilliant. You know, if you work bloody hard on that site, you've put a lot of time and effort in with those operatives as well, haven't you? When you consider that those operatives were moved over, like two peed over, yeah. people were adamant that they were rubbish, no good, couldn't clean, this, that and the other, and there you go, turned it around. Well, they're all on now, and Stale got her new phone. Is she? So she's on it now. That's good. That makes that life a lot easier now. Yeah. Right, so then Ashley, what have we been up to today? Stock deliveries today. We've been to Sabella, Gloucester Brewery, John Deere, Chipping in Surgery, and we've just come away now from Velvets as we've got a new starter up there and she's been asking for certain things to clean her floors with, like deck scrubbers and doodle bugs and that. To do with the corners. And now we're off back to, down into Bristol to go to Ding's Crusaders to do another stock delivery. And next week you are on annual leave in late winter here, so I am filling your gap. Just be warned it's a stock delivery, starting up new starters, training staff and retaining staff, doing stock deliveries, and... Paperwork. The fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> But don't forget Monday, yeah. that you potentially could have a new mobile support operative. Ah, yeah, potentially. Young girl is interested in coming on board with us. So that may be good. What's the matter? <laughs> you got it in the wrong yeah. order. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. <laughs> It's Friday morning. Um, I'm just thinking as I'm doing my morning run. Following the filming today, the podcast, which is done with Kyle all around fitness exercise, keeping your body fit, make sure your mind is fit. Kyle rang me yesterday 
and he offered to go to the gym with him and go into weightlifting. Drop us a comment. Who would like to see me go and give that a go and see if I can keep up with Kyle? Quiet a day today for everyone out on the road. Technicians, we've actually got two on annual leave. Just a couple of short days here and there. We try not to do that too often. Person that was on a trial shift for a technician yesterday got on really well. Most importantly, the work that they did was absolutely spot on. We have offered him the position. He's going to start Monday. All new starters work shadowed for a while. So they're always working side by side with someone else. We get to know them and build them up before we start sending them out to clients as well, which obviously is important to clients. They know we're not just picking people up randomly. We're doing lots of checks and everything else, which are all going on in the background as well. Contract side, it's a little bit quieter than it usually would be. Ashley's been setting it up because she's on annual leave next week. Aaron is stepping into her shoes once more. For myself, I've got a coaching session first thing this morning. That's something I actually started in COVID. I was very much one of these that was, no, never gonna have a coach. What's the point in a coach? They just tell you what to do. What to do, I don't need telling what to do, they don't know my business, blah de blah de blah de blah. During Covid, as you can imagine, that was a seriously stressful time. Someone that I was in a networking meeting with and I have a lot of respect for said to me, Lee, you look stressed, just admit it, go and get a coach so you can just keep your head straight. Multiple things happened yesterday. Jordan was in swapping bands, Kyle then called and said he was running ahead, so could he possibly come in and swap into his new van as well? So they're both happy as Larry, or they were both happy as Larry yesterday. Unfortunately though, Jordan was swapping in to the van that has the EML light on, the first van that has the EML light on. Both of those vans currently have an EML light on very frustrating. The decision was made after some bouncing back and forwards. Now I've been working with this supplier for a few years and they've never let me down before. So despite the frustration and the inconvenience that having two new vans with issues, basically made the decision to judge them by their customer service. Obviously there is this nagging thought of, but are these gonna be the bane of my life for the next few years? Who knows? You know, I'm, I'm driving a, a three-year-old Mercedes, four-year-old Mercedes at the moment, and that's not been completely without issue. I just don't think anything is made like it used to be anymore. Nothing. Doesn't matter what you buy, go out and buy a kettle, and it won't last as long as it, if you bought a kettle that was made 10 years ago. Nothing is made as, as well as it used to be, um, yet they charge more for it. And that, that frustrates me, but that's a whole other tangent, and I'm sure Craig's gonna speed all this up because I'm rambling again. Point being, that was the decision I made they said um, they finally managed to get them booked in. They've told us they will give us courtesy vans. They wouldn't even drop the courtesy vans off because that was my issue before, is they wanted us to drop a van in Weston for repair. And then they wanted us to go drive to Bristol to pick up a courtesy van. And then obviously once it was done, drop it back as well. It's too much hassle, too much running around. They've also took in the other two vans before they deliver them. They've took them in, they fully serviced them. One of them is turning up today and they're taking away Kyle's old van and then they're dropping the other one off on Monday and they're taking away Jordan's old van. However, they were both happy as Larry when they left yesterday. Kyle still is as far as I'm aware. Jordan, as he got home, had a load more lights blinking and flashing and going at him. Luckily, Jordan is one of the techs that is off today anyway. He took some lights and some pictures of the lights for me. I emailed it over to the warranty people and just said, look, all of this has come on. Do you need us to stop driving the vehicle or does the plan stay the same that we can drive it and then we drop it off for repair on the confirmed date? So it's all the joys. Let's get on with the day. New vans here, so check it over and out the uh, old one. My my worry was this whole issue about Jack. What's what's that? Oh well, basically Jack was coming to work um, the other day, and some doctor jumped on him. Not jumped on him, but beat the hell out of him. But just sort of pushed him. Yeah. And the stupid it was there this morning. Right. That's all it was. He hasn't physically been assaulted. Yeah. And, and he's reported it to the police. Now I said to him, "You were right to run us now. I'm fine." It's not, no beat up or anything. Yeah. It's just a little bit. Yeah. Have you spoken to Jack? 
yeah, I've spoken to Jack and I told him what the issues are. And I told him just to slow down, take your time. Just tell him from me if he know if he needs an extra like half an hour a day over the weekend. Yeah. Um, just to take the extra half an hour and we'll pay him for it. The other guy's not starting now, is he? Lo and behold. Um, he texted me today to say he don't want the job. I yeah. literally told him to F off, but I didn't. I just texted that no problem. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is, Ashley, me and you had this conversation yesterday. All of us I'm knew like, we should never have offered him the job. All yeah. of us knew it wasn't really going to work out. We were just trying yeah. to, to lighten the load a little bit for Aaron and, and go from there. But we should have done, but it is what it is. And like I say, you were, you were just trying to get a bit of support for Aaron. Have you brought the other interview forward then for the other woman? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron's going to meet her Monday. Right, okay. You know, uh, we'll have a catch up Monday anyway, Aaron. I'm there to give you a hand to get it like straight or whatever if you need anything. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll try and get you up this Monday. Let me double check. All I have is that. So there we have it. Another week down with all of that to finish off the week. Would have preferred to finish on a high, but we're on a bit of a low. Come back next week when you'll find out how that interview turns out. You see how the new technician starts. And Kyle is taking on more of a camera facing role for these behind the cleans episodes. Plus, I'm at the James Sinclair seminar. I'm gonna be working on the business to help me plan for how we push forward. Thanks very much for watching. Please do click the subscribe button hit that bell notification so you know when next week's episode's coming up. Thanks for watching. See you next week.